Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm just waiting one more minute in case some more friends come to join us. Just want to make sure that you could see me okay. There. Is that better? Oh, I think that's better. All right. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I'm so glad to see you. I'm sitting here and I'm with sad Sam. I was feeling a little bit sad and a little bit lonely. But now you're here and I feel better. You know why? <gasps> well, you feel better when you're not lonely and you have people that you can see and talk to and friends you can be with and oh, oh look hi happy jose oh that's a good idea okay happy jose wants us to sing our happy song are you ready you can sing it with me the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. That's great. Next time you can sing it with me. Well, why are we here? I am going to read the story that you all chose on MrsRobbins.com. And it's a great story. You made a great choice. Oh, well, you know what story they chose, Sad Sam? They chose a story about feelings. And my feeling friends are very excited that you chose a story about feelings. The story that you chose is about a grumpy kangaroo. What does it mean to be grumpy? Well... Grumpy is like, almost like you're a little bit angry. Another big word you might hear is irritated. Um, when you're grumpy, things aren't going the way that you want them to go. And, and you want something to feel different. And you feel a little bit bad inside, right? And so I bet a lot of us are feeling a lot of different feelings now that we're stuck inside a lot, right? And, and we can't see our friends and we can't do what we want to do all the time. Maybe you're feeling happy that you get to stay home more with mom and dad, right? And maybe you like that one day that you don't have to get up early and go to school all day. But then the next day or even a couple hours later, you could feel sad because you're missing your friends. The thing about feelings is that they change. Feelings don't stay the same. And we can do things to feel better and to help our feelings change. And so the story you chose is about a friend who helps Grumpy Kangaroo go through all the different feelings and emotions that he feels inside of the story as he goes through his day and things happen to him that are good or bad. All right. And, and think about while you're listening to the story, what kind of things can you do? What kind of things do you like to do that make you feel better if you're sad or angry or grumpy, right? All right. Well, let's get reading. Mrs. Robin has to put on her reading glasses. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure you can see the story really well. Here we go. What? do you do with a grumpy kangaroo? This book was written by Jane Belk Moncure. Yes, all right. The Library of Magic Castle. Come to the Magic Castle when you are growing tall. 
Rows upon rows of world windows line every single wall. They reach up high, as high as the sky, and you want to open them all. For every time you open one, a new adventure has begun. Books are great. Some of you might like to read a story if you're not feeling so great. That could help you feel better. All right, so here we go. Tony opens a word window. Guess what Tony sees? <gasps> a grumpy kangaroo. Look how grumpy his face is. What can Tony do? I will try to help grumpy kangaroo. I will be his friend, says Tony. He takes grumpy kangaroo to the circus and buys him a balloon. That might make you feel better if you were grumpy. You might like a balloon. They watch the elephants do tricks. The ballerinas dance. The ponies prance. Lots of neat rhyming words in this story. Hello. My page doesn't want to turn, guys. There we go. The tumblers tumble and the clowns make funny faces. Guess what? Grumpy kangaroo begins to giggle. He makes funny faces too. Oh, he's a happy kangaroo now. Until, <gasps> pop, his balloon pops. Oh no. He begins to cry. Now he is a sad kangaroo. What can Tony do? He buys sad kangaroo a new balloon. Now kangaroo is a glad kangaroo. <gasps> Until, uh-oh, what's gonna happen? He drops the string and the balloon flies away. Woo! Now kangaroo is a mad kangaroo. When Tony takes mad kangaroo to the park, guess what mad kangaroo does? Sometimes people do things when they're angry. He bumps Tony on the seesaw. Bump, bump. Oh, bad kangaroo, says Tony. So kangaroo says, I'm sorry. I won't bump you anymore. Let's go down the slide. Let's go down the slide. And he crawls all the way up to the big, big slide. And oh! when kangaroo gets to the top of the slide, he is oh, afraid to go down. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes we can be afraid. Kangaroo is a scared kangaroo until Tony goes down first. Now kangaroo is a brave kangaroo. Brave kangaroo says, let's ride bikes. Down the hill they go, zoom. But kangaroo goes too fast. He tumbles off his bike. And now he is a hurt kangaroo. He's crying, he's sad. What can Tony do? He puts a bandage on kangaroo's knee. Now kangaroo is sleepy. He's a sleepy, fussy kangaroo. So Tony puts him to bed for a nap. Tony's a really good friend. He knows what his friend Kangaroo needs and he gets it for him, doesn't he? When Kangaroo wakes up, he is a joyful, jumpy kangaroo. Let's jump rope, says joyful, jumpy kangaroo. And they do. Little Kangaroo keeps on jumping. He jumps all the way home to the zoo and Tony closes the word window. And that's the end of the story. And you can read these words with Tony, right? What kind of feelings did our little kangaroo feel in the story? He felt grumpy. He felt happy. He felt mad, sad, bad, sleepy, good, scared, hurt, brave, and joyful. He had a lot of different things going on in the story, didn't he? And so I bet a lot of different things make you feel all of these kinds of ways, right? And so, as I said, think about the things that you can do to make you feel better and do them because then you can feel... Oh, Happy Jose said, he's happy that you came and he's happy that we read the story because that made him feel happy. So. Think about the things that you can do that make you feel better 
if you're not feeling good, right? If you're sad, what can you do? Maybe you like to draw, you can draw a picture. If you're scared, what can you do? You can figure out what's scary and figure out a way to feel safe. Moms and dads are really good at helping you with that, right? If you feel angry, you can figure out why you're in such a bad mood and what can you do to, to change the way that you feel. If you feel bad because maybe you messed up your brother or sister's room or something, you made your mom and dad sad, well, you could tell them you're sorry. You, you could do something nice to help make them feel better, right? could do a lot of things with our feelings to change them. And so that was the story. And you changed my feelings, so now I'm feeling happy. So I'm going to get to go off and enjoy the rest of my day. And I hope that you guys do too. And I hope next time you'll come hear me read the story again. And we can sing our song together. And it's going to be a lot of fun. See you soon, everybody.